Hello, this is Bob from CenturyAutoAir.com. Today we're going to talk about flushing an auto AC system. We're going to show some of the materials used to do it and then go to the car and do a quick demonstration. When do you flush an AC system? Well, you just don't do it because you feel like it. You do it because the system's apart for repair. It's an old car that you're restoring that it's been open or say there's been a component failure such as a compressor has come apart. Flushing will remove oil and some debris. In newer cars, the condensers are built in such a way that debris is not coming out. You will have to replace condensers. But as far as flushing lines, evaporators, this works. What you cannot flush through is a compressor, a dryer, a valve, any of the functioning systems. It's strictly for the heat exchangers and lines. As far as flush chemicals, uh, we sell the Cool Pro AC flush. There's other flushes like Dura that are out on the market. And there's other, other brands as well. The main thing is that it is a fast evaporating solvent designed for air conditioning systems that will not leave residue. A lot of people use a lot of the other chemicals that are out there that are not designated for air conditioning. That's at your own risk. It may work, it may not. It might dilute the oil within the system or it might chemically be incompatible. So things you have to consider. So what we do is we sell an air conditioning flush gun kit. I recommend taking a, a funnel. I'm going to just use a bulk thing. And I usually fill them up about a third with flush chemical because it's better to do this in multiple stages than one shot through the whole system. Also flush chemical itself being expensive, you don't want to use more than you have to. So once the, the flush is in there, simply close the gun and there is an air valve on top that will hook to your shop air. It's best to have clean dry shop air to do this because uh, you don't want to introduce moisture into the system. Once it's poured in there, you close your air valve, attach your uh, air hose to it, open the air valve, and you can shoot it through the system. So let's go over this car. I have the 71 Ohls Cutlass here that uh, the system has been open for years. And we are just going to go ahead and flush out the evaporator core to remove old oil before we install the new valves onto it. So let's go to the car. So here we are at the car. I've already removed the expansion valve and the POA valve from the evaporator coil itself. Remember, you can only flush through these hard components like evaporators, condensers, and lines. You cannot flush through a compressor or a dryer, or a valve for that matter. So it's isolated, and we want to duct the flush out away from the car. So I just take a piece of heater hose, and I place it anywhere I can. So it aims underneath the car into a bucket and that way we can watch what is coming out of the system and give us a good idea of when the system is clean. So now I'm going to grab my flush gun that we've already filled with flush and very important wear safety goggles. Also do not get these flush guns anywhere near a battery or a positive line. It's possible to ground this out against an electrical component. It's full of flammable liquid. Um, obviously, it's a safety hazard at that point. So we attach our shop air to it, making sure everything is tight. Open our air valve. I set that in a convenient place, and we flush through the component. And I, I'll, I do more of a pulsating type flush. Rather than squirt all the flush through there at one time, I just kind of work it through. And then you'll hear it going underneath the vehicle into our catch can. And once it's cleared, then we can chase it through with air. And just let the air flow through it. Now normally, I'm going to do this procedure three times. There's not a, a set spec how many times you need to do it, but that's kind of what usually works for me to get the oil out. Don't be surprised though if you have a very dirty or, or very oily system or something that's been open for a long time that you need to use more chemical. It's better to use more chemical than not enough chemical because you just want these systems cleaned out. So let's 
we're going to go ahead now and we're going to run another pass. We close our air valve, take our air off, and slowly open the air valve. That relieves the pressure inside this can. Then we can open the can up. I'm going to go to the bench and fill it up again, and we're going to make one more pass. Okay, so we've refilled our flush gun. We're going to do a final pass on this, making sure our air valve is closed. We attach our air hose. In other words, you might, depending on the chemical you use, uh, you can also, and probably should also wear a respirator when doing this as well. And make sure you're in a, a clear ventilated area and that the engine is not hot because the heat off the exhaust manifold, depending on the flush brand you use, could possibly ignite. Absolutely be as careful and as safe about flushing as you can. So here's one more pass through. We've opened the air valve. And once again, we're just pulsating the flush through. And you'll hear it drop off into the bucket. And when you're done, you can take a look in the bucket and see what's coming out. You can monitor each pass. Are you getting a lot of oil out? Are you getting metal out? And then by your third pass, or fourth or fifth, depending on how many you need, you'll be able to take a look at that bucket and see if things are coming out clean. When it's clean, you're done. Right now, I'm just running air through it to dry out the flush that's in there. And one thing we'll do as well is we remove our little heater hose that was guiding the, the flush out. And we can make sure that our evaporator's dry. And I'll just take a rag, I'll put the rag over the SD outlet, and just kind of sit there and just kind of pop it. Let's build up a little pressure and release it. And then let air flow through it for a while. So at this point, it's clean. We do our condenser, we do our lines. We've probably used at least a couple quarts of flush at this point. Um, you can assemble the system. It should be evacuated. My recommendation is about an hour. I hope that helps you to understand the process of flushing out an auto air conditioning system. Uh, remember, it is for removing oil and debris. Safety is paramount with this equipment because it is a pressurized cylinder. We do sell these flush guns as well as quarts of flush at our website, which is shopcenturyautoair.com. Thank you.